Hey what's up, welcome back to a new video, welcome to Combat Ready HQ and I'm Craig, a former British Army soldier, served 16 years within the Royal Artillery as a fire support team member and then I transferred to the Household Cavalry Regiment where I become an Armoured Reconnaissance Commander. Today we're going to be looking at America's Test New Deadly, Deadliest Super A10 Warfog After Upgrade. So I've recently done a video on the Warfog, it's an absolute beast, a tank buster. Uh, so I think it's an absolute great piece of kit that the Americans have. It's been in service for a while now, but it's still very capable of destroying targets and helping uh, the you know the Americans get out of some very tricky situations. You know, like I said, we don't have this within the UK, but we do have similar aircraft. You know, you could become a JTAC and you can control fast jets, coordinate the sort of fires, work alongside the fire support team. So if these videos really excite you and you're looking at joining the military, I'd highly check it out, join possibly the Royal Artillery and joining the fire support teams. And then maybe going on to join the JTAC, so Joint Tactical Air Controller, where you can coordinate fires with such things like the attack helicopter, the Apache, fast jet jets, um, fighter jets, uh, and then coordinating fires with the artillery, working with MFCs out of the infantry, coordinating mortars. So really interesting to see what this upgrade is. This can destroy targets, especially very good at destroying armoured targets. So let's get into it. Remember to like, subscribe, turn notifications bell on and comment below with your thoughts, any comments and what you want to see next. Let's go. Bums away. Oh my God. <laughs> what a shot. And I do have to say, I was lucky enough to go to America once uh, where we were working with the GMRS uh, guided multiple launcher rocket system. Um, something else you can do within the Royal Artillery. And we got to go out there. I can't remember exactly where it was. Somewhere in New Mexico, you go to the range and they fire the GMRS onto targets like that. And you watch it through video from about 20 to 30 meters away. And you just see it hit the target. And then they replay it. So you can then you walk down to the target and see what actual damage it does. But that was a beautiful shot. The A-10C Thunderbolt 2 just became even more deadly. The Fairchild A-10 Thunderbolt II was designed specifically for close air support and has proven to be one of the most effective anti-tank aircraft ever created thanks to its distinctive GAU-8 uh, Avenger 30mm gun. Sound of that is beautiful. The United States Air Force proved earlier this year how the aircraft, known among its pilots as the Warthog, is capable of taking out contemporary tanks with upgraded armor. Mm -hmm. The 422nd and 59th Test and Evaluation Squadrons successfully demonstrated during the initial testing at the Nevada Test and Training Range in February 2023 that the GAU-8 Avenger on the A-10C Thunderbolt II could still penetrate modern armored vehicles with explosive reactive armor. In each of the test missions, a pair of A-10Cs took to the test range and fired against two dummy main battle tanks fitted with ERA using armor-piercing incendiary rounds. In order to assess the weapon's effectiveness against the heavily armored targets, the pilots changed the attack parameters and direction. Mm -hmm. The press office of the 53rd wing said that analysts were able to determine the battle damage caused to the tanks and established that the tanks were rendered inoperable through post-shot analysis oh, really? and video inoperable. And inspection of the targets. Anyone could have told you that. Didn't According even get to experience. Major Kyle Atkisson, commander of the 422nd TES A-10C division, a typical A-10 gun employment requires 120 rounds, okay. which means an A-10 is capable of deploying fires on 9 to 10 targets before so round 12 rounds. ammunition. Okay. A-10 formations are capable of attacking over 40 armored vehicles with 30 millimeter ammunition against big fielded forces. There is a lot of weaponry there. So that's 120 rounds, it said, in 9 to 10 bursts. So you're firing off around 12 each time. That's quite a few targets it can take out, with plus with the 30 mil in 3900 rounds a minute. Woo! 
that is taking out some targets and something you don't want to go up against, especially if you're just an individual bod out on the ground and that's coming overhead. You're going to be running for cover. The aircraft's 30mm GAU-8 gun, which protrudes from the nose, has a 3,900 bullet per minute rate yeah. of fire. The American Air Force requested proposals, RFP, for a 30mm rapid fire gun that could be deployed with the AX close air support aircraft in the early 1970s, which led to the creation of the weapon. GAU-8 is the name of a prototype created by General Electric. The government contract required the creation of four different types of ammunition for the cannon, including target practice, semi-armor piercing high explosives, armor piercing incendiaries, and high explosive incendiaries. <laughs> I love that every time. It's beautiful. Precise killing. The testing gathered information on the AGM-65 Leaders Maverick and AGM-20E Advanced Precision Kill Weapon Systems Efficiency against the armored vehicles oh, in addition to one. the Look at that. Leaders cannon rounds. Oh, beautiful. It is thought that the A-10 is a good choice for agile combat employment jobs. The most recent test conducted by the Air Force was viewed as evidence that the A-10 can continue to deliver powerful, fast gunfire with catastrophic consequences on enemy vehicles in a disputed area. <laughs> Look at that. So, looking at it then, I'm guessing that AGM-65 is what it said. Um, there they guided, like it's got its high explosive um, rounds and then the AGM sort of 65 Maverick and the AGR 20E advanced precision kill. Um, oh, I'm guessing they're obviously the guided rockets that they're going to fire onto the target, and then you've got a 30 mil cannon. So basically, what it sounds like is they're upgrading the accuracy of the Warfog of the A10, which is obviously always going to be better. Obviously, the better chance you've got hitting the target, more close to the target, whether that's static or moving. Obviously, gives you more chance of neutralizing or destroying that target which is then going to help your friendly forces out on the ground when you're coming in and then the 30 mil is just and that it's just another piece of kit isn't it 3900 rounds a minute um you fire a few bursts of that in any direction at anyone and then it's going to cause a bit of devastation devastation you've also then got the capability now of going up against explosive reactive armor uh and any sort of armoured target and it, it is neutralising and destroying those targets so it is an awesome awesome piece of kit uh, you know people do call it the tank buster you know with these AGM 65 out and the AGR 20E for the advanced position kill whatever these are actually going to be or you know whatever these are I don't know exactly um it sounds like it's really advancing just basically the precision which is obviously what you always want so absolute beast uh the burst that it can give you know 120 rounds you know nine to ten bursts that's you know taking out possible nine to ten targets maybe two purse on each target possibly um but it is you know just a few flybys it's really going to increase that capability of destroying the target so that's why they, the war for the a10 is still in service uh, and they it's not being replaced because there's no need to. Hope you enjoyed the video. Let us know what your thoughts are and I'll see you soon.